And I want to ask you about your fear. You have a family. Yes. Um, I have two grandsons too. Two grandsons. And every day you're in the front lines here and you're being called to hospitals. You're being called to take people to, to COVID testing centers, doctor's offices. Tell, tell us. I, I've been taking people to groceries. I took nurses to uh, old age uh, homes uh, on Donway, uh, down on Kingston Road, up on the uh, north end of the city. I drove people uh, to Mississauga where they are building a new emergency hospital across the street from um, Mississauga General Trillium uh, Medical. Protect yourself. Maybe you can show us what you have to do, especially when you're going towards the hospital. 95 mask which uh, I use that. I put it on my face and around my ears. So I, I don't want to put it on now. I leave it for, this is the spray I use uh, for the door handles, for the seat covers. Our income has dropped by almost 80%. Uh, all those uh, flags on the street are gone. All those airport runs, downtown runs, financial district, people they used to go to restaurant, bars, or they were bartender coming back home after hours. All yeah, I mean, you know, in terms of, of when people were calling this flu season, for a taxi driver, every season is flu season. They have to keep their cars clean. They have to protect themselves. We're picking up immunocompromised people all the time. And then someone else who might have a cold or the flu, something that seems less serious than this. But if the next person who gets in the car, you know, has just come from chemotherapy, the, these are um, circumstances that, that taxi drivers are, are very well aware of, um, which means that a lot of them are staying home too. But we've got about 25% of the flu really dedicated people uh, who, who, you know, are aware enough of what to do, they're responsible enough, and they're taking that risk knowing that people need them. And, and for Jafar especially, he thinks of the people who need him, and, and that's why he's out there.